I'm Mos Eisley from Sweatshop Union. You Kiprio, Sweatshop Union. This is Medi the Dirt Merchant from Sweatshop Union. You're watching the past of the mic. The Vancouver hip hop scene is is filled with talent. It's got a lot of really good MCs. It's got good producers. It's got uh, a ton of of people that are, that have a lot to say. The artistry's there. I think that. It lacks industry. There's not a lot of, like, as far as record industry goes, it lacks community and it lacks support. Uh, I think there's talent here, but I also think that there's a lot of individuals that are just waiting for someone to come make it happen for them as opposed to what we've kind of uh, been doing in trying to make it happen for ourselves. Well, I agree with him fully on that. We've actually been talking about this quite a bit um, because we go away a lot and then we come back and then we're always like, hmm, where's hip hop in Vancouver? And really, there's only a couple of places that uh, back in the day when we came up doing it, it was like you could go once a week and meet everybody in the scene and hang out and be like, let's do a song and not end up doing it. But still, at least you have someone to hang out with and talk about the same thing that you're into. Um, and it, I think that's lacking and I feel that it, it's dangerous in some ways because a lot of the kids now coming up wanting to do it don't really have anywhere to go where they have any sort of like rapport with anyone that's already doing it kind of thing. So hopefully I'll change. I think there's there's less of a scene and then there is more people catering to a broader audience, you know what I mean? I yeah. think whereas before we'd have to catch a C bus to go downtown to the one store where you could get big laces for your shoes or spray caps for your, your for your spray paint and just meet other people that were into hip hop, you know, you had to seek it out. You had to pre order I remember pre ordering Wu Tang CDs at A and B Sound, you know what I mean? Just things like that. I mean it's it's really just more of a business now than the scene. You know. And that's, that's a good thing and a bad thing, obviously, for us, because I mean, it's there. And the demand for it is there, so obviously we can uh, profit off that, and, and not necessarily monetarily, but in terms that people are checking for hip-hop, so then we're likely to you know, be looked at, at least. But it lost its identity in the whole process, I think. For once, hip-hop's making money. I mean, I, we were all there when hip-hop got... Part of my language was shit on, you know what I mean? It, it was pimped got, more than anything. Yeah, people got, pimped. everyone got screwed in their deals and this and that. Now everyone's actually making money and building careers and feeding families, which I definitely support. But at the same time, the thing that we got into this in the first place was because it was kind of something special and unique. It wasn't the town bicycle, you know what I'm talking about? The town bicycle. And I don't want to be, you know, we don't want to be the average <coughs> underground, underground artist going, no. oh, it's gone mainstream, it's 50s everywhere, whatever. Too. Yeah, that's it's that's dead, you know. But uh, I just think that at least in every city there should be some sort of, um, some sort of place where people can go and be in a non, say, drinking, non-smoking atmosphere and actually just hang out and talk about the things that they're into and maybe get a more positive idea of what hip hop's like, not just champagne and girls at clubs and stuff yeah. like that, you know. Too long, just wishing we all would move on. Sick tired of doing what you want. You go and turn it all into this. Seems a little watered down. Everybody wanna be a rap for this now. Trying to get the platinum, regardless how hard you play yourself to get fame. Ain't it a damn shame? Music today, a fad's the same, so you ain't got shit to say. Expect the kids to pay this expensive fee when they can get an MP3 off a friend's CD. Especially if it's less than three tracks of like. If it was worth spending money, then we actually might. So much crap on the mic, labels ain't acting right. Making cash from the hype like the passion of Christ. Just imagine the lights, camera action, the life, the car, the cash, the stars flashing, they ice. VIP, R&B, pop queens gassing you up. Fashion thugs passing you in the back of the club. You want a part of it, but is that all an artist is? A blank mind with a spine made of cartilage Hard as it may seem, it pays to stay Dreaming away from the mainstream, just praying you'll break even I've been singing a song for too long Just wishing we all would move on Sick tired of doing what you want You go and turn it all into this Seems a little watered down Everybody wanna be a rap for this now Trying to get the platinum regardless how hard you play yourself to get the pain much greater than your Benz or your Lex, Benz or your Lex. Pop music. What, what, what is it? Do not connect us with those champagne sipping money fakers. Well,